model of a typical animal cell. Some of the structures we can see on this model, we can see the nucleus right here. This white structure here is the nuclear envelope, and you can see the nuclear pores, little holes in the nuclear envelope. Inside is where you have the genetic material, the chromatins in here that condenses into chromosomes, and that's where the genes are located. We have the nucleolus right here, and this nucleolus is responsible for making ribosomal RNA, which makes up most of a ribosome. So some people say that the nucleolus makes ribosomes. Here we can see the centrioles. And this darkened area around there would be the centrosome, okay, the cytoplasm around the centrioles. This would be where the spindle apparatus is made for mitosis. And also, this is where the cytoskeleton originates from and is anchored. The Golgi apparatus is this structure right here. And the Golgi apparatus is going to process and package proteins and secretions. These would be the vesicles coming from or originating from the maturing phase of the Golgi apparatus and those vesicles would contain proteins, specifically enzymes. Um, also uh, these are membrane bound so that membrane can be incorporated in the cell membrane to repair and uh, replace parts of the cell membrane that need replacement. This right here is a mitochondrion. Okay, you can see the cristae inside the mitochondrion. This structure is responsible for producing ATP. We can see these white dots scattered all through the cytoplasm. Those white dots are ribosomes. Remember those ribosomes are made here in the nucleolus. We've got this blue structure with many ribosomes stuck to it. Okay. All this blue structure here is rough endoplasmic reticulum. And the rough endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for making proteins. The ribosomes will help to make the proteins and the proteins will be stored inside these little chambers in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Here's an example of smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It's called smooth because it does not have the ribosomes on it. This is where carbohydrates and lipids would be produced and stored. We can see these yellow vesicles right here. And those yellow vesicles can be called lysosomes. And those lysosomes contain enzymes that can help to digest substances that enter the cell. This right here and this, as well as this gray vesicle right here, this would be a peroxisome. Okay. Peroxisomes have peroxides in them that will help to break down substances that enter the cell. The cell membrane is located out here and the cell membrane contains all of the cytoplasm in here. The cytoplasm happens to be the cytosol, the fluid portion, and the solid portions. Okay? All of these organelles inside here, organelles like the mitochondria and the Golgi apparatus, rough ER, and so on. Notice that we do not have a cell wall. Cell walls are found in plant cells, not animals. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.